Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Rama, and this week is Black Friday in Grand Theft Auto Online. For any of you that are unaware, that means we have some crazy discounts. A lot of super expensive vehicles are now 50% off. I'll be breaking into all the discounts this week, so make sure you stay tuned. As always, if you enjoyed this content, you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below, especially for getting it out so early. So as always, let's start off with the increased money that you can earn this week. There's actually a couple of different ways. First of all, there's triple money on casino missions. This is actually pretty solid. I know a lot of other YouTubers will probably say this is mid, but if you have not completed the casino missions, you will first of all get the Paragon R Armored Edition for free from Mrs. Baker, which is a pretty cool car. I'm a big fan of it. Not only that, but you will also get a $500,000 bonus for when you complete it the first time, and if you're getting triple pay out on this, that's just a really good deal in general. So if you ever plan on buying a casino property, especially because they are on sale this week, you can complete the missions and make more than all the money you've spent back on the property. It's honestly a pretty good deal in my eyes, so definitely participate in those missions if you haven't already. You will need to do it with two players though, so do keep that in mind. Okay, well we have double money on armored truck robberies. Pretty useless, I'm not gonna lie, wouldn't recommend to do that. And then we finish off with boosted chances to get diamonds on the casino heist. Now that's pretty nice. To be honest, I'd probably stick with doing the normal Cayo Perico heist and then the agency Dr. Dre VIP mission. It's a boosted chance, which means it's still not guaranteed. And you need two people to do the heist. It's just a lot more efficient to do something like the Cayo Perico heist. Yes, I know it's boring and people probably say that in the comments, but still, money is money. So now that we've talked about the ways of making money, let's talk about this week's discounts. Let's start off as usual with the two freebies. We have the Reimu as our prize ride vehicle. It's a pretty basic car. I can't really say there's anything special about it, but it looks nice, so I can't complain all too much. Then we have the Reinhardt as our podium vehicle. You can get this, obviously, by spinning on the wheel and getting lucky. It's a decent car. It's in the sedans class, if I'm not mistaken, and it's fast, actually. It goes over 120. I'm a pretty big fan of it, but in terms of, uh, like, should you ever buy this car? Eh, it's a pretty average vehicle in terms of overall performance. So let's talk about the discounted price properties first. You have 50% off casino merch, which is okay, I guess, if you've been saving up casino points and you want to use them on merch for your penthouse that you probably don't ever go into. There you go, you can do that. You have also 50% off the 50 car garage. That is insane. If you don't own the 50 car garage, buy it this week. You'll be a fool not to. It's literally super cheap as it is, and now you can store 50 cars in it. I mean, that's just a flat, stinking dub. 40% off the casino penthouse. As I said before, if you buy the penthouse and you haven't already owned one, you can do the casino missions for Miss Baker and make all the money back you just spent on the penthouse. So overall, that's just kind of a flat dub. It's also 40% all of the casino upgrades as well. There is 30% off all arcade properties. This makes sense as we do have a slightly boosted payout on the uh, casino heist with the diamond chances going up. So I would also recommend to pick up an arcade if you don't have one. Also, it's 30% off all arcade upgrades. So right now we're on a roll, some really good discounts. And it gets even better. We have our first plane we're gonna talk about, which is the Raiju. It's all the way in the back and we'll make our way through the list of all these aircraft here. So we have the ride you this is 25 percent off it's not a ridiculous discount but judging that this jet is normally around five million with the trade price to pick up this is actually a really really good deal if you have not picked up the ride you yet i would highly recommend to do so it is the best flying vehicle in grand theft auto online it's not the best at everything but it's the best when you combine them all together so it's uh just an amazing aircraft to get your hands on. All right, well, we also have 50% off the Avenger. I would also recommend to pick up the Avenger. I made a video just the other day doing a tier list on all the weaponized vehicles and aircraft, and this made it into the game-breaking tier. Not only does the Avenger have insane durability, it can survive upwards of like 25 homing missiles, but it also shoots homing missiles now, which was a massive dub of an addition. It has bombs, it can go into autopilot, you've got a thruster inside of it that you can take out, 
Plus, if you go into the back seat, you can basically rain justice from above by bombing people with the little explosive MGs. The Avenger is just an amazing aircraft. It's fast to fly. You can call it in wherever you want, and it doesn't even take out a, ver a personal vehicle slot. So definitely would recommend to pick up the Avenger, especially for the 50% discount. The Swift and Swift Deluxe is 50% off. I would not recommend to pick this up. It's still a waste of money. You're never going to use it. But if you did want to buy it this week, you can. We also have 50% off this deluxe version, the Luxor. Another waste of money. It's 50% off what is normally 10 million. So you're still going to be spending $5 million on a jet that does literally everything the normal Luxor does. And speaking of the normal Luxor, that plane is also 50% off. I just didn't really think it was necessary to put them in the video. Finishing off, we have the Laser, which is also 25% discounted, just like the Raiju. The Laser is a really cool looking jet. It's still one of my favorite jets in the game in terms of maneuverability. It's fun. Unfortunately, it's just worse than the Raiju. So, if you're picking between the two, with the laser normally being 6.5 million and the Raiju being about 5.8, the fact that they're both on the same discount, definitely buy the Raiju. If you want to pick up the laser as well, that's fully up to you. But I can tell you for a fact that the Raiju is basically better in every way, so that's my overall suggestion. Alright, now we move on to the car discount, and, well, we start off with the yacht. Now, I should point out that all of these discounted aircraft I just brought up, apart from the Raiju, are only going to be discounted from the 24th to the 28th. So it's not the full week, this is specifically the Black Friday discounts. And that is the same for all of the vehicles we're going to talk about here. These are only discounted from the 24th to the 28th, so make sure you remember that. Let's start off with the yacht, 40% off. Would I suggest to buy the yacht? No, it's a waste of money. Sure, it looks cool, and if you want to buy it, go ahead. I'm obviously just giving you my advice, but I don't think it's worth the money. I don't ever use my yacht. So with the yacht aside, we have the terabyte, 70% off. Yes, you heard that right. 70% off. If you don't own the terabyte, just buy it. Even if you don't plan to use it, the fact that you can buy it this cheap is a little insane, especially because it is kind of like a mini arcade where you can do a bunch of sources from it. If you're going to do vehicle cargo or anything like that, it's just a really good way to uh, start it up. Plus, you can store your Oppressor Mark II in here, so if you ever plan on getting an Oppressor Mark II, you're a newer player, just buy it. The terabyte's an amazing vehicle in general, and the fact that it's 70% off is it's a little insane, I'm not going to lie. All right, so we got the PR4 and the BR8. These are both half off. Normally, these are about 3 million plus, so the fact that you can get them for around 1.5 to 1.7 mil, definitely would recommend. I would much more recommend to pick up the BR8 than the PR4 if you're only going to get one of them, because the BR8 BR8 is the fastest by far out of the discounted vehicles. It's just insane, so definitely pick up the BR8. The PR4 is more just a cool vehicle. I wouldn't say to pick it up if you already own the BR8. We have 50% off the Stromberg. This is honestly a really cool car. It features missiles, which is really nice, and it gives you the missiles right out of the gate. So you can just launch the missiles whenever and blow up things around you. Not only does this vehicle feature missiles, but it's decently fast. It has a submersible mode that allows you to go underwater, and even more cool than all of that is it can actually survive upwards of two homing missiles. Unfortunately, the Toreador is not on sale, but the fact that the Stromberg is already fairly cheap as it is and you can get it 50% off, just pick it up. I mean, it's just a really cool vehicle, and it is incredibly cheap this week. So, I would highly recommend to pick up the Stromberg. We have the Ruiner 2000. It's a cool vehicle, but I don't know if I can recommend to pick it up. I mean, it does feature missiles. It features the ability to jump in the air with a parachute. I can show that really quick. But at the end of the day, it's still not a great vehicle. First of all, it cannot survive any explosions. And yes, there is a special VIP mission where you can allow the vehicle... Oh my god, the fire brigade's here. But yes, there is a special VIP mission where you can allow this vehicle to survive like 20 explosions and then it instantly respawns and it has infinite missiles it's cool but for the majority of players i feel like this is a pretty worthless addition so i just can't really recommend to pick up the runer 2000 especially when the stromberg is still cheaper and a better car in many different ways so yeah i just i don't know it's a good discount if you want to pick it up but personally i wouldn't recommend it and we finish off with the kanjali this is a pretty cool tank and it's 50 percent off normally i would say don't pick up the kanjali but it's actually 
actually a really solid vehicle. First of all, it features one of the most dangerous weapons, like the... A lot of people don't know this, but tanks actually deal about double the damage of a normal RPG or explosion. So because of that, they're super, super dangerous. It can also drop proximity mines, which is pretty cool, so you can, you know, mine a bunch of people around you, like that car. And uh, it has grenade launchers and an MG if you have more than one person in it. So it's a cool vehicle, don't get me wrong. And for the 50% discount, it's a really good deal. But normally, I wouldn't recommend to pick it up because it is pretty expensive for what it is. So yeah, discounted, I'd actually say this is a really good deal. Overall, that is all the discounts this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Honestly, it's a bit disappointing. I thought we were going to have better discounts. The Oppressor Mark II, which is normally $8 million after the changes, not discounted. The Toreador, Vigilante, all the major vehicles that people would normally use are not discounted. And because of that, it's a little disappointing, I'm not going to lie. Still a really good week nonetheless, but I'd expect that because it is the Black Friday week. Hopefully all of you enjoyed today's video, and if you'd like to see more like it, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.